Oh my gosh, I got slammed. Got him. Oh my gosh, look at this hammer. Oh my gosh. Another one. I got him. Go. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh, oh, god. Oh, this is a PB crappy for me. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to another Guggen Squad episode. Today, we are fishing for Monster Mondo Megalicious. Crappie. I like that Megalicious. Yeah. What's your biggest crappie, Norm? My biggest crappie, I think, is two and a half pounds, maybe oh, two dude, and three that's quarters. A giant. Yeah, but I've never that's targeted them before. I always just go fishing for bass. I kind of forget there's other fish in fresh water. But this is the first time I've ever gone out and like actually tried to catch some crappie. I'm kind of excited. There's some huge ones in here. That's I've right lost here. my voice. Yes, you have. Let me just say this. If I catch a three pound crappie, you will hear me scream from the next county. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh man. Yeah. My biggest crappie is only a pound and a half and there are some absolute, maybe even a state record out there. They're Mondos. Oh, oh my oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, so what's fishing without a little bit of a challenge? So we're gonna do a 1v1v1, me versus one rod versus Rackley for the most crappie caught. And one big thing we're trying to do, we have a ton of boys back at the house and they're trying to get the bass population bigger and bigger and bigger out here making a trophy lake and the crappie it's overpopulated so we're gonna take some out bring the boys back some food and have fun with a little competition yes, so you can catch the most so you boys ready let's do it let's, right, let's go something giant over there oh yeah all right i got i'm on i'm on baby i'm on i knew it i knew it get him out of the brush we're testing this finesse rod we're in it that's second cast, boys. That's we just had to check it out back there. Woo! Got this fish under control. New Guggen Black Series finesse light. No problem. Heavy cover. Oh, it's a bass. Oh, it's a bass. Woo! Second cast. This won't help me for the challenge, but it's gonna get my confidence up. Woo! Absolutely choked it. That's gonna be a good sign. That's fish number one of the day. Nice chunky little guy. Get back in there, keep eating. See ya. Boop. Now that I've got that in my system, let's go to the dock and uh, try to catch the target species. You know, you never want to count yourself out. I give myself a 20% chance of winning. I know Rackley is the crappie master. Me and myself, I've never caught one intentionally. And one rod is also very good at multi-species, so I might be the underdog, but I'm not counting myself out. I see a ton of bait here in front of me. I've already seen a fish blow up, so I don't know. I think my odds are kind of good. Yeah, I'm basically gonna show these boys how it's done. I can already tell Norm doesn't know what the hell he's doing. I mean, um, but he'll probably catch a giant. But I would say if we were on a standard situation, I'd probably catch a lot, and they would catch a few. If I catch anything over two and a half pounds, it's gonna be like basically my PB. So I'm excited, basically. So we fished for about 20, 30 minutes. Fished a dock, it's, it's less than a foot, it's super shallow. We hear that the dam is gonna be deeper and that the pipe playing on the bottom that the crappie like to stack on. Norm, you think it's yeah. time to go uh, check that out? Dude, we, we gotta make a move. Yeah. That's what I've heard is that crappie like to hang out in deep water. I think we gotta go to the deepest part that we can reach from the bank, so I agree. All right, let's do it. Let's get there. Go, Rackley! Goo Squad right now is having a massive Black Friday sale. 40 to 50% off all apparel, 30 to 50% off all baits and terminal, 20% off all rods and reels. Use your favorite creator's code to get an additional 10% off only at GooganSquad.com. How deep are they in? So he said, Right now, because the lake is normally, the deepest point is normally 16 to 18 foot when the lake is full. Okay. The deepest point in the whole entire lake now, which blew my mind, is only six foot. What? It's six foot at the end of this Dang. pipe, which is the deepest part of the whole entire lake because it's so far down because they haven't had any rain. This is not spring fed. It doesn't okay. get any streams fed into it. It's all rainwater, and they have not had a lot of rain, so. Gotcha. Yeah. But six foot, I feel like all the crappies should be stacked up there, so. All right. Hey. Let's bump it. Let's go. Norm's the crappie master. Yeah, sir. Never done it before. But... I'm about to get some rounds berries on my booty. Not the good kind either. No copies so far. 
This water is so muddy, you basically gotta bonk him on the head. Going an eighth ounce right now, I'm gonna switch to a sixteenth. So I can go a little slower and bump that cover a little better fast, just bust it right there, or a big crappie, something like that. A little snacky, putting on the two and a half, snacky. Just with the bass, you basically have to make contact with the sticks for them to like, they hear it and they come over and grab it. So I'm gonna try to bump these pipes and then bump these rocks on this dam. Got him. Hooked up, baby. It's a big one. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Look at this hammer. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> yeah, it's a big one. Yeah, big one. Oh, my gosh. Look at this slab, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Holy cow. Look at that thing. Dude, that's a big one. This might be a hybrid or it could be a straight black crappie. I don't know. That thing is thick, heavy. Oh my gosh. Made that switch up to the saucy and the 16th ounce weight. Or the snacky swimmer, sorry. Two and a half inch. That thing tattooed it. It fought like a bass. That's incredible. That one's gonna eat. Good. Oh my god. Look at this thing. Dude. Oh my god. What the heck? Dude, feel how heavy it Holy is. Holy. What? How, like, feel the weight what? on it. Oh, dude. <clears throat> Normally, you pick up a crowd, it feels like paper. Yeah. Is dude, this a two pounder? I, that might be two pounds. Whoa. For real. Oh. For real. My gosh. On that little grub. Yeah, yeah. The snack. Dude, dude, that is insane. Good job. It was off one of those little pipes. Whoo. So that's a good sign. We got some crappie down here on this dam. We're gonna try to get some more of these, but <laughs> golly, man. Ooh, that smells good. <laughs> Dang. Bro. Good job, man. Thanks. Yep, here we go. Oh my gosh, you're on fire, bro. Big and oh, it's big. Oh, yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. These are... dude, they don't call you the crappy king for nothing. <laughs> oh, dude, these are giants. They're absolute <laughs> monsters out here. What? Those look like bass. Oh, my gosh. You got it? You got her? Yeah, I gotta get all the way down. Here. You want me? Woo! <laughs> look at those crappie. Dude, that was just a hair smaller, but goodness gracious. They're giants. <laughs> yeah, they're... <laughs> I'm there. This looks like mutant crappie. Oh my these are, gosh. These are mutants, man. Oh my gosh. Woo. We might get an actual piece. We might get a three pounder. You might. Oh, I gotta switch baits. Whatever he's using, I'm putting that on too. Uh, you know, I don't know how many are down here, but I definitely got that fish in the same spot. There's a, it's a deeper area and you gotta bump the cover. I really think it's a matter of the fish, they hear that sound when that head hits the wood or the rock or whatever it is, they hear it, the water's a lot muddier than it normally is. So bumping the cover is really important. With uh, the 16th ounce head, I'm not gonna get stuck as much and I can really go through there slower. So it gives the fish time after they hear that, that little tick where it's hitting something to come over and grab it. <clears throat> I probably should turn back because it sounds like they're on the pipe, but the stubbornness in me wants to catch one over here. So I'm going to get five more minutes. I'm going to head over to the rest of the boys. Dang, they are reeling them in. Oh my gosh, I got slammed. Oh, it's a giant. I don't think this is a crappie. <laughs> it's running. Holy smokes. This is so much fun. Please be a crappie. It might just be a bass. Oh, it's a good bass. <laughs> Holy cow. Just cranked it in like half a foot of water. That was awesome. On the one eighth ounce zinger, white and chartreuse. It's crazy reeling them in, not on a bait caster. Trying to get them up to protect them. Oh my gosh. It's like a three pounder. <laughs> Dude, what in the world? Holy smokes.
that scared the absolute heck out of me guys look at that that is one big boy right there <laughs> i mean i won't mind that it's not gonna help me towards the challenge at all in winning but i will never turn down a largemouth bass that was such an awesome eat not a crappie not what we're looking for gonna go ahead and give her the whole release see you girl Oh, got him. There we go. Oh, he popped off. Dang it. I think that was a crappie too. Eat it as soon as it hit the water. No. I saw his side profile and it looked more like a crappie. Kind of the way it was fighting. It instantly took off sideways. Man. Got him that time. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. He's running quick. <laughs> Guys, I might have a giant on. I can't tell. It's so hard to tell on light gear. Oh no, okay, it's not that big, it's not that big. Oh my gosh. This is so cool though. Is that a, no, it's a bass. No, oh, he came off, it's okay. It's just like a one pounder. They hit this thing so mean. That is so much fun. What I found they like too, cause it's so shallow, it's just burning it. Like they're chasing bait out here. I feel like if I work it too slow, they know it's not real. So it's almost like a medium to quick retrieve. It's a little bit of wind on this side. I think it's helping my spinnerbait bite out just a little bit more than it was. Oh, another one. Next cast. Wow. 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 <laughs> they are stacked right here. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. Stay pinned. I'm going to play a little bit longer this time. I always forget I'm not using bass gear. We're going a little bit of lighter tackle, so you got to play that tension out. Holy smokes. Come here. Oh, it's a crappie. It's a big crappie, I think. Is it? No, it's a bass. Dang it. This is the weirdest looking, look at how skinny this thing is. <laughs> look at how skinny this bass is. I need to rinse her off. Oh, it's a big crappie. What? Oh, oh. <laughs> no, I was in shock. Oh, there's one. Oh, there we go. Rackley. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah. my, every oh, no. one. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Dude, you're the crappie king. Dude, these are giants. Oh. Uh, this one's a hybrid. Oh, wait, what does that mean, a hybrid? You see the black stripe on his back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hybrid between a white crappie and a black crappie? Yeah. Really? I've never seen that before. Ah, look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, look at that stripe. Okay, so that's how you can tell. Mm -hmm. So this one would not be able to produce offspring, is that correct? No, I think it oh, will. It still will, okay. Yeah, it's still got its genetic uh, okay. abilities to pass it huh. But look, look how thick. <laughs> Dude. I mean, they're just, that's a steak. Oh, there he is. Oh, you got him. Wow. Oh, yeah. Ow. Ow. Dude, you are the freaking <clears throat> king. The master. I'll show oh, you. that's a giant, too. Oh, yeah. He got it down the hatch. <clears throat> I hit the same piece of cover about 20 times. And he just decided finally he was going to bite. Undisputed, Rackley. undisputed champion. <laughs> undisputed crappie champion. Good job, bro. Norm. Yeah. We suck. We do. We man. suck. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I think that 16th ounce head is really important. Yeah, that was key. I mean, you got that slow drop right in the cover, probably bumping them on the head several times before they bite. Yeah, I literally I hit that piece of cover 20 times. And it's just, I don't know, it's just a timing thing. Yep. Electric chicken that time. The snacky, dude. That's what the they snacky. Wanted. I know your voice is a little uh, bit, a little is. bit out there. Let me help you. Rackley is throwing a 1 16th ounce, these new Guggen crappie jig heads. We got yep. the snacky swimmer. You caught that one on electric chicken, but before you were catching them on toxic waste. Toxic waste. Those bright yeah. colors in the dirty water. You're the king, bro. Uh, okay. Well, if it's undisputed. Let's undisputed. I, it's, I mean, we're not cat. We not only are we not catching up to you, we haven't even caught one. So. So just cast kind of like right in the middle of all this stuff. Stand right here. Okay. Can I stand here? Is this a pretty good spot? Like just cast in the middle like that? Yeah, you'll probably feel it. This is the right angle, but there's some brush that's right in front of that side sideways pipe. Right yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. When you when you reel it close to the bottom you'll feel that brush okay and it kind of wants to catch your lure you just don't want to pull it in oh yeah I, I, feel I, I feel that yeah i just went over it yep yeah. so you hit that 20 times yeah but i've caught i caught another one i got it oh my god 
actually coached me into that fish. Whoa, get to that norm. This might be a PB for me. I can't Where's, where's the net? Do we have it's a net? Right there. Grab the net, bro. Let's go. Brackley, you're the beast. Dude, you are the. He literally oh, just coached one. me. One cast after that. Oh yeah. That is what you call dialed right there. Let's go! <laughs> nice! Woo! Holy smokes, dude! dude. Huge. <laughs> this is a PB crappy for me. Oh dude, congrats. God. We're weighing this guy. We have a scale over back back of the cabin? I have a scale, I got it on oh, my Oh yeah, scale? Yep. Alright, let's you. get here on the scale. This is probably oh no, hands down, this is gonna be the biggest crappy of my life. Exactly, that was insane. You literally you, you just code you just called exactly what to do. Yeah, right there guys, this is what I'm using. 16th of an ounce, electric chicken, snacky swimmer. That's all she wrote. Got it rigged yeah, up? It's all right, go, let's, man. let's do it. Yeah. I gotta beat 1.25 pounds. That's my previous okay. PB. What do we got? Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, my oh. gosh. What is it? Oh, it's still climbing. 1.87. One, 1. Just oh, under two pounds. That is my new official dude, PB weird. crappie. Whew, I gotta eat this guy. We gotta eat. I'm, I gotta eat my new PB. We're gonna head back in a second. Should be fun. Look at that. That is some back meat, y'all. Some monster fillets. These are going to be so good fried up. We're getting the grease hot right now. Beautiful fish, doing a favor for the management of the lake for the bass. It's a win-win. All right, a little shake and bake right here. There's crappie going in. Ooh, yeah. I think that was a perfect temp. Oh yeah, baby. Golden Krispies. Let's freaking go. I think we're gonna have a lot of batches. Just think that one crop that you caught would feed you just fine. It would. One, one fish. Yeah. One fish per person. That's crazy. No, they're, those are cooking quick, bro. How much time do we need? Those are cooking fast. Yeah. No, they'll be done in a few minutes. You ready to go? It's all good. What we got going on here? Oh, dude, a little gold crispy action. Oh, my goodness. Y'all you know catch some big ones? Absolute steaks. Oh, my goodness. This has got to be my favorite part of Guggen Week is when Rackley yeah, is cooking, cooks up man. the Golden Krispies. Yeah, that's yeah, my favorite part. This is the highlight of the trip. Definitely. Yeah, it's, you know, it's what I do. I just feel bad yeah. you had to catch all of them, too. You pretty much did everything. Yeah. My dad just has yep. to take over. Yep. <laughs> Golden Krispies. That's impressive, bro. You know how to fry up a crappie. I'll give you that. Hey, you caught that one. I caught one. Like you caught ago. four. <laughs> You're catching, cooking, feeding us. Get oh, what would we do without him? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, chicken look at those pieces of fish, my guy. Just Dear like Lord, that thing is. Look at that thing is hefty. Yeah, I, it's moving the whole plate. I've oh. never seen a piece of crappie like this. Usually, when I catch them, especially from Maryland, they're like one tenth of this size. Dude, look at that man. Dude, this is like a tilapia. Look how thick it yeah, is. Dude. Oh my gosh. Woo! It's really hot, but that is. Look at that. Flaky. Bro, this piece is coming off. This piece is calling to me. I, yeah, I gotta try it. Yeah, oh my, look much. at that. Steaming. Ooh, Lightly what? breaded. You're brave. Yeah, it's so hot, dude. Mm. Woo! Talk me through it. Yeah, mm. there's steam just pouring out Woo. of your mouth. <laughs> White, flaky, lightly breaded, so I really get the flavor of the fish. It's so good. Oh my god. Dude, good job. Yeah, thank good you. job, Rack. Boys are in for a treat today, guys. Let's uh, enjoy. Cool. Yeah. Is it good? Oh, it's real good, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. That's like the first fresh crappie I think I've ever ate. And that was so good. Mega fresh. Tinder. All the parts. Doesn't really need anything either. No. No sauce, just a fish. 10 out of 10, man. So good. Where's Mike? Mike was climbing a tree. I threw a football up there, got stuck, and then I threw my Yeezy up there, got it stuck. Oh, you had to so, get that back. Yeah. There he is. What's up? <laughs> What's up? What about this? Woo! Yeah, I had some, bro. It's really, really good. Well, the challenge went very well. I feel like I've won even though I lost. The fish is amazing. We got on a little school of bass, a little school of crappie. Oh, yeah, dude. It was a great fishing awesome. day. Good job, boys. Got a little crappie lesson from the king himself. Yeah. 
Yep. I think that's gonna about do it. Make sure you guys check out Guggen Crappie Bait. Woo! Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at this, dude. You can hold a whole there. tackle box in there, in that pocket. This merch awesome. is available right now. Be sure to use your favorite creator's code for 10% off. And don't forget, now through the end of December, December 31st, every $5 you spend is gonna give you an entry to win a brand new 2022 truck. Don't miss out on that amazing giveaway. We'll catch you guys in the next Guggen Squad episode. Later. <laughs> Folks, stop what you're doing right now. Fishing Black Friday is here. Guggen Squad's biggest sale of the year is on right now. You can save up to 60% site-wide, especially when you use code LOGIC. We're talking about 30 to 50% off on things like baits, terminal tackle, and apparel. 20 to 40% off of rods, reels, and storage. Plus, every $5 spent is one entry to win a 2022 Chevy Silverado LTZ. Don't forget to use code LOJO at checkout to save that extra 10%. Guys, supplies are limited. The sale goes through Cyber Monday. Get it while you can.